How's it going guys, I'm here to review The Hills Have Eyes Part 2, directed by Wes Craven once again. This film stars Michael Berryman, Robert Houston, uh, Janice Blith, and others. The plot for this film begins with Bobby from the last film still traumatized by the events, but he and Rachel, also known as Ruby, from the last film, owns a biker team. The team is due to race in the same desert where the original massacre took place. Bobby refuses to go and Rachel takes his place to take the team. As they drive, the bus begins leaking fuel and they stop at an old mining ranch. That's where Ruby's brother Pluto and their uncle the Reaper attacks the group one by one at night. So that's the plot in a nutshell. Personally, I think this sequel is pretty average. It's not that great, but it's not bad either. It doesn't have a good tension and build up from the last movie. The plot itself is meh. I find it hard to believe that Ruby and Bobby are part of each other's normal lives after the last film and how it went down. But whatever, right? And it was cool seeing Michael Berryman as Pluto again, but it doesn't make sense of like how he's alive, and it doesn't make sense how the Reaper, his uncle, comes into play. And some of the kills are cool and weak. The score by Harry Manfredini, who did the Friday the 13th franchise, is great. The new characters or the biker group, the teenagers, were pretty forgettable. Honestly, I think they could have done a better job following up to the original. It just felt rushed and unnecessary to even follow up to the original in the first place. So I give this film a 5.5 out of 10. Pretty average. It's just eh. One of those forgettable sequels. So that was my quick review of The Hills Have Eyes Part 2 1984. Please leave a like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.